Hey guys, it's your boy Killer Kill360 back with another video. And today I'm doing, well, aka redoing, what if Goku was in One Piece? So I hope that guys enjoy. And yeah, let's have fun with this one. So we're going to start off with Goku's story. So Goku has a family. Him, his mom, his dad, and his brother. But unfortunately, his brother loses his life out in the sea. As Gine is talking to Bardock, as Bardock, Gine, you know that boy Luffy is going to want to leave the house. You know he wants to find the One Piece. Yeah, but I don't want him to die out there. We don't. We can't lose our second son like that. Says Gine. Bardock is like, I know it's tough, Gine. But we gotta let him spread his wings. We can't keep him in the house forever. Eventually, he's gonna leave on his own accord, regardless of what we do. As Bardock's future sight activates, as the Marines are attacking Bardock and his family, as he says, Gene, get down! As we see a huge light beam shoot through the house, as Goku gets mortally injured by the light beam. As he screams out, Dad, my arm, my arm. As Bardock looks at Goku's arm, he's like, Goku, no. As we see, Goku's arm is severely burned. First degree burns. As, well, third degree, sorry. As Bardock rushes over and goes into his closet as he gives him a special beam that heals wounds. It won't be fully healed, but it will take some of the pain away. Says Bardock, eat this. As Goku eats the bean. As Kakarot, aka Goku, he. Bardock makes the ultimate price. He pays the ultimate price. As he grabs Gine and uh, Goku, as he puts them on the bolt that they have. That's in the back of the house as he says, take care of Kakarot and Goku, you know. The reason why he calls him Goku and Kakarot is uh, pretty much, let's just go with the flow. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the story. As he, you know, sells off, they call him Goku for an uh, old man that they met. Okay. As, you know, Gine who head out, right? Sorry for making it awkward. Um, then Bardock is like, huh, well, seems that y'all found me, huh? As Fujitora and Aokiji is like, yeah. And as Kizaru is like, oh, look what we got here. The infamous Bardock. As <laughs> Bardock laughs, huh, y'all think this is going to be easy? I don't care if it's three fleet admirals in front of me. I'm taking one of y'all down with me, as um, Bardock says, as <laughs> tough luck for you, we are the strongest, it doesn't look pretty good for you, as he says, we see about that, as he says, as Bardock gets into a vicious fight with three of them, as he screams out, spirit cannon, as he hit Aokiji, Aokiji barely dodges it, and then Bardock Hits him with a straight uppercut to the face, sending him through a mountain. As Fujitora and Kizaru combine their attack, gravity light. As it freaking annihilates Bardock, it blew a hole right through the side of his chest. As he sp <coughs> as he spits out blood, you bastards. <laughs> Y'all think, <laughs> y'all think y'all seen the last of me? Like I said, I'm taking one of y'all to hell with me. As he says, Hell Zone Explosion. As he ends up grabbing onto Alkiji, taking him out with him. Huh, that man, wasn't he something? So well, we have to report that Alkiji's dead. And Kakarot, aka Goku, his son, is still alive with Guinea. So, 
we have to head back to headquarters and let this be known. As he says, Marines, we're heading out. As they all head out back to the Marine base. As we cut to the Marine base, as Son Goku, Akihino, or sitting down, and Garp enters the room with the rest of the fleet admirals. As Son Goku's like, is the deed done? Is he dead? Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. But unfortunately, his wife and his son got away. Damn it, Garp, why you let them get away? Hey, I was off off the fight anyway. I was watching if he was leaving the coast, but somehow they slipped out. Uh, Garp, you're getting too old. We're getting too old for this, both of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as Akihino's like, huh, so they got away. So, at least one of the menaces are dead. As we need to take down his berries then. He's no longer alive. As they walk up to the wanted poster, Dead or Alive, Barda. The terror, the scourge of the sea. Bounty, 3.5 billion. Nami, we have to go get Nami, says Luffy. As the rest of Straw has not. As Luffy is like, what made her do this? What made her just switch up on us like this? I gotta know why, says Luffy. He's pissed. You can see the rage in his eyes. He's like, whatever is going on with Nami, I gotta know what's going on. She wouldn't just leave us like that. She's on a comma, says Luffy. As all the guys nod. As one of the bounty hunters is like, do you know who Erlong is? Because she was staring at his poster for a long time. I think she wants to take his bounty. As Luffy's like, really? Hmm, who's this Erlong? As one of the bandits is explaining to him, as he's like, huh, well, bounty hunter, sorry. Fine. We see when we get there. As Sanji's like, I hope there are female fishmen on that island. <laughs> as Luffy laughs, yeah, Sanji. As we cut to Erlong. Well done, Nami. <laughs> so, you got the 100 million berries, did you? As she nods, as he's like, well, that's nice and all. You're a good girl. But it finds out, it turns out that there's no 100 million berries on the island. As Nami's like, what you mean? As he's like, shh, quiet. As... He starts to crack his knuckles. Ah, rumors tell me that the Marines came by and picked it up earlier. As Nami's like, you, as he looks at her, as she shuts up. <laughs> That's a good girl. Now, I want you to go back out there and do it again and again and again until your arms fall off, says Erlong. You're nothing but a sleazy bitch to me. As Nobby just, just like, okay, Erlong. Okay. Okay. As, at this point, Nami is broken. As he says, yeah, that's the look that I like. Ah, oh, brings me pleasure. Torturing you. Making you suffer. Anyway, once you get back home, get back up there and make maps for me. Before I rip everybody in this town in pieces. And she's like, okay, we're wrong. As she leaves. As we cut to a cherry face. Cool and collected person. Named Goku. As Goku lands on Erlong's island. As he starts to stretch, crack his neck. And he heads into town. As he's like, huh, why are the people here so scared? What's going on? As we see Nojiko. Nojiko's like, uh, who are you? Um, my name is Son Goku. I was traveling through town. But what's going on here? Why is everybody so scared? As Nojiko grabs Goku's mouth and she's like, shh. Don't say that out loud. They might hear you and try to kill you. Who? As she says, come with me. Come to my house. As... Goku, you know, follows Nojiko as Nojiko sits down with Goku 
and explains as everything that's going on. So, there's a tyrant named Erlong on this island, huh? Is he strong? Yes, he's very strong. Hmm, I want to go fight him. As Nozuko is like, are you insane? Well, I live by the life of testing my strength against others. As he does 150 push-ups right in front of Nozuko. As Nozuko kind of goes dumbfounded. And he like, he did that effortlessly. As he's like, who is this Erlong? And where can I find him? As she, she shows him the way to where Erlong is at. He's like, thank you. But first, I'm going to get a meal before I fight him. As she's like, yeah. As she makes him some food, as she sees how many plates he could put down in a sitting. She's like, are you even human? <laughs> no, I just have a really big appetite, says Goku. And she's like, yeah, big appetite is an understatement. As, you know, one of the fishmen are patrolling and they hear an unfamiliar voice in Nojiko's house. As they start knocking on the door, as they just kick the shit open. And Goku just... Looks at them and they're like, Who the hell are you? We didn't have outside visitors allowed to visit the island at this time. As they try to hit Goku, as Goku freaking one shots him, he straight cracks his dome with one punch. As the other fishman is like, You monster! As Goku's like, Where do you think you're going? And he does, does a meteor barrage! And he starts beating the hell out of that one fishman, silencing him. As he says, Ka me ha me ha. As he completely disintegrates them. As it kind of makes a big ruckus as Erlong is like, what the hell was that? I don't know, boss. Go check it out, says Erlong. Huh, there's somebody strong on this island. Wonder who it is. As Goku was like, huh, that was pretty easy. As Nojiko was like, what the hell are you? Did you eat one of them weird devil fruits? Yeah, I ate Sun Wukong Sun Wukong, a.k.a. Mythical Zone devil fruit. As she's like, what? Ain't those like the rarest class of devil fruits? Yeah. As she kind of scratches her head, she's like, he's so strong. He might be able to beat Erlong. As we hear Nami running towards the house as she's like, as Nami is like, I'm nothing. I'm complete garbage. He used me. He played me. He treated me like a fool. He enslaved me. <laughs> As Nami begins to stop ah, stabbing herself in her arm. Damn you, Ella. Damn you. You motherfucker. Says Nami. As she begins stabbing herself. You know what? I might as well end it all. As we see a hand grab her arm. Nami, get yourself together. As Nami looks to the left of her. And she's like, Luffy, you don't know what's going on here. Get away from me, Luffy. As Luffy's like, yeah, I don't. As Luffy tells Nami, what the hell is going on with you? You've never been broken like this. You have a strong will. Don't give up like that. If you need help, I'll be there for you, says Luffy. As she starts to cry, she's like, Luffy, please help me. As Luffy doesn't say it in a second word, he takes off his hat and puts it on her head. As she f makes a flashback that Luffy never takes off his hat. It's like his greatest treasure to him. And that means he trusts me with his greatest treasure. As Nami is like, thank you, Luffy. Thank you. As no, Luffy says, Erlong, you're gonna pay, you bastard! As he just says, let's go, boys, as they all nod their head and start walking towards Erlong. And as they're walking towards Erlong, they see 
a man in a yellow orange jumpsuit as Luffy for some reason has a same weird connection towards Goku as Goku already knew where he was going. So you going to fight Erlong as well? Yeah. And what's your name? My name is Goku, Son Goku. Yours, Monkey D. Luffy. I could tell they're gonna get along very well. Says both of them. As all the boys head over towards Erlong. As Luffy kicks the door off the hinges of Erlong Gate. As Erlong and his goons are like, who the hell are y'all? We ain't gotta say words, says Luffy. We all men. We know what's about to go down. You bastard. You shitty bastard, says Luffy. Huh. And who the fuck are you? Why well, should I be concerned, says Erlong. As Luffy just says, Jet! Punch! And he just punches him right in the face. As Erlong gets sent flying through the wall. As everybody just is like, he just decked Erlong. As Hachi and Zoro begin to fight, and Sanji starts to fight his opponent. As Usopp fights his. As Luffy and Goku look at each other. As they say, keep the people out of the town to the, the um, bounty hunters that's with them. Understood. As Erlong gets back up. Huh. It's not fair to jump somebody, says Erlong. Please, the way you've been tormenting these people, you shouldn't be talking, crooked mouth. As Goku says, as he's like, yeah, monkey boy. As because Goku actually has a tail because of his fruit. Huh. Huh. As he says, say that again! As he starts charging towards Erlong, throwing hands, him and Luffy fighting Erlong. And it's neck to neck. Erlong is not giving an inch at all. As he says, Storm Surge! As he hits Luffy and Goku with a barrage of um, blade water. And it's like cutting them internally. Tearing them into pieces. Damn near. As Goku and Luffy spit out so much blood out their mouth. <laughs> as, huh, not so tough now, aren't y'all? As... Luffy and Goku get a smile on their face. He's like, why are y'all smiling? <laughs> Compared to my training, this is nothing, says both of them. As Goku says, Meteor Smash! As he gets Erlong into a flurry of combos, punching him up in the sky. And then he, s he hits Erlong with an axe kick right down back to Luffy. As Luffy hits him with a straight uppercut. Because of the force of the uppercut and the axe kick stunned Erlong. It made him stumble back into Erlong Park. As he jumps up on a building and tears, he punches through the wall and tears out a blade. As he's like, huh, it's time to slice y'all up. Shark drill. As everybody cover their eyes because they think Luffy and Goku's about to get sliced in half. As Luffy grabs the lower half. Goku grabs the top half, and they just crush it with their bare hands as Erlong is like, What the hell? How did y'all get this strong in just a few minutes? <laughs> Erlong, you are a bitch, says both of them. You decided to fight in the weakest blue. Do you know the type of people we fought? You are child's play. As Luffy and Goku freaking grab both one of his arms and just tear it off his limbs. As everybody's like, yeah, get that bastard, fuck him. As <laughs> Nami's like, yeah, kick his ass. As Erlong is screaming like, oh my arms. As Luffy and uh, Goku start <laughs> hitting the arms against each other. <laughs> hey, Goku, you know... It would be kind of cool to just kill him with his own arms. As Goku's like, yeah, I'll oblige. As Luffy and Goku use it as a bat. And they hit him right in his torso. With so much force, it obliterates the top half of him. As Erlong is dead. As Goku says, let me just get rid of his remains. 
カーメイハーメイハーアシオブリテリッツ His body to absolute atoms as Nami breaks down in tears. As Nami runs over to Luffy, as Luffy puts his arms around her and gives her a big hug. As she cries in his chest, Nami, everything will be okay after this. There will be nobody here to hurt you no more. I'm here for you. And I love you, Nami. As Nami goes for the kiss. Bad bitch like Nami. Don't give a fuck, come find me. My blade's colder than hockey. I'm a chair nigga, take a copy. Your bitch can't stop me choppy. When I fuck the bitch, said Nami.